Konnichiwa, my sis and cities. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm very hyper this morning, but I'm still sick, as you can hear. I am talking straight through my mouth. It's like I can't breathe through my nose, but it's okay. Okay, so I haven't did a favorites video in a while, and so I'm not going to do like a favorites video of the month. Because I never make them on time. So I'm just going to do my favorite things right now dealing with makeup wise while I'm getting ready. So I'll turn right here to you and then I'll turn to the mirror. Okay, my first love that I have been loving is this Scandal Eyes Volume Lash. I love it. And what you want to do take my palette right here and look right here and what you want to do is you want to blink while you're putting this on blink and try to start from the bottom and blink hard I mean hard and look at there look at that eye and look at this eye yeah BAM so you wanna blink I love this love this stuff Scandal Eyes by Ramel okay I'm gonna say this as quick as I can Ramel Oh my gosh, I am burning. Oh my god, y'all. I just burnt my thing. You have got to be kidding me! I'll be right back. I know I just did not do that. I've got to be freaking... What is this? Milo, mommy's about to call the fire. Hmm, that worked. You little sucker, you. What are you even doing up here? In the trash you go. Okay, I'm sorry, I was burning my wand. Gosh, wand. How are you trying to tear up on me? Oh, okay, where was I? Oh, with the lash thing. So you can tell the difference, right? Look at that lash. Look at that. It's a ball, right? Look at this one. This one makes me want to dance and sing. Look at those something, 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 suit and tie. <laughs> Just the triple H and the Jay Z. I got a cold, so I can't. And I don't even know the words. I just know that beat. I love that beat. Do, 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 do. I do, 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 do. Mm, mm, uh, uh. Yeah. And this side is like an old blues song. I've been going down that old road again. <laughs> Bland. Oh, and like I was saying, this is what I was saying before my about to catch my house on fire. Um, Ramel does not get enough credit. I'm telling you, I love Ramel products. Like seriously, after I put on my Scandal um, eye. I like to follow up with this telescopic mascara L'Oreal. Favorite because it grabs look. You can see, see that's perfect right there. See on that wall? Look at that. Look how thin. So what it does after I plump and scandal my eyes up, 
I come in like this and then I pull these jokers up and I grab them single handedly and they like go and then I blink some more yeah and then I take it down a little bit cause I like I like my lash line to get out okay let me show you something do you ever do this I just want to know you get you go to in the store and you see something and you're like oh my gosh that's genius and then you don't even get home you buy it and get home and don't even use it sorry about the racket okay so I bought these shadow shields right and I saw them and I was like oh my gosh about time like seriously um so I bought these shadow shields because I'm always getting mascara like under but I never use them <laughs> I use them like once yeah it's supposed to be for shadow but um you can also use it for when you put no mascara but I don't even use the dang dang things I got so excited about them and then don't even use them it's like extra steps it's like it's too much it's like I'll just take a, after, after I mess up, I'll just take a Q-tip, my handy dandy Q-tip, and just take it off. Yeah. But I, I was just wondering, do you guys do that? You know, buy something, you get so ecstatic about it, and then you take it home and you're like... I thought I bought something like that before. Oh wait, I did. It's in the cabinet. And I thought it was awesome, and I never use it. Like I said, see how sometimes that comes under your eye after you do that so handy dandy q-tips you can buy these little to-go packages put them right in your purse they come in a little thing like this q-tips like this slide out in the little thingy take them with you and you can just clean up the mess right in your eye uh-huh. Yep. These things are so handy. That's why I call them handy dandy Q-tips. For Q-tips. So, fave. Alright. I already put on my face. Yeah. And I use the Revlon Nearly Naked. Nearly Naked. This is some pretty good stuff. Smell wise, doesn't stink. It has some smell to it, but then again, my nose is stuffy, so I don't know what I'm smelling. Okay, so like I was saying, I already applied the foundation, the Revlon Nilla there. So the next thing that I would do is contour. I don't contour all the time, but I'm going to contour today because I'm showing you some of my favorite things. And with that being said, it brings me to my Tarte Bronzer. I love it. It's called Hotel Harris Mineral Bronzer. This stuff is the bomb. Mm -hmm. um, it has a mirror right here. It looks like that. I can't even have the bronzer. But I'm going to look right here at the big mirror and do my bronzer because like I said, I'm going to work. So I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a little bit. Take some on that side. And then I'll come up here a little bit and make a little C thingy. So tart. That is my next favorite thing. Okay. So with that, after I do that, I'll just take um, like my Sephora Kabuki and I'll go blend up, blend up. And I, I'm aware that contouring, you go dark down here, dark around here, and then light, 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 light. But I'm not going that far. This I just want my cheekbones because I got high cheekbones. So I want them just a little bit more popped out because I love my high cheekbones. So I'm not doing the whole contouring thing. 
I also used, I forgot to tell you, with the Revlon um, Nearly There, Nearly Naked, I keep saying Nearly There, Nearly Naked, um, I kind of used some of this too. It's the Amazon Clay by Tarte 12 Hour Full Coverage I, with SPF 15 sunscreen. I put this on first and then I put on the Nearly Naked. This is what it looks like. It's a bit um, blotchy because of the makeup, but you can see. Tarte. Mm -hmm. Long wear makeup, all free. For you oily people like me. Amazon Clay. This is a very, very, very good um, foundation, full coverage. After I do all that, I take my, which is one of my favorites, my MAC Pre Prep and Prime. Um, finishing powder. I cannot find my big, big, fluff, um, translucent powder brush, so it's okay. So, I'm just going to take this and set everything. Mattify it. I kind of press mine in instead of swooping. I don't want to mess up my makeup. Okay, so, make sure I get my T-zone. So yeah, MAC Prep and Prime, you can say is my face. Loving this um, Milani Baked Blush. Um, it's in Rose D. Aura. Sorry about that, let me do it that way. It's, it's pretty kind of like peachy color. It's so gorge. I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to put it on my cheeks like that. Rise it up and go up. Swivel up and swivel down. Swivel and swivel up. And swivel down. Shake, swivel, up, and swivel down. So now I'll take some e.l.f. finishing spray. And... Woo! So right now what I'm going to do basically is just finish wanding my hair. Subscribe, please. Passion for fashion. Yeah. So, thank you for watching this crazy video. I have never made a video like this. It's been me ranting like this. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Uh, check out my channel over here. Yeah. And um, tell your friends about me so I can get some more subscribers. Yeah. Bye, guys. And there's, of course, going to be giveaways coming up. But, guys, you have to interact with me. I want more guys to interact with me. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You know? But, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. I look crazy, right? You know, like, boom, bam. Gotta finish that eye. All right, bye.